Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Moss Valley Zoo, our franchise mode. This is our third episode. In the last episode, we actually built this lovely habitat for the ostriches. And as you can see, we already have some babies. Yeah, it happened very, very fast. I don't even know how how quickly it happens and now we have like three babies and they are all golden so we will be able to sell them for uh you know a lot of conservation credits so i am very happy about that maybe not a lot because it is an ostrich not a tiger or something but still we need those so uh selling those animals seems uh yeah wise <laughs> at the beginning Okay, I'll actually unpause the game so we earn additional money. And yeah, our like uh, albino uh, female had an, had an uh, offspring. So we have one albino. Actually, one of them has escaped. And I don't know. Okay, it was just a bug, I think. Uh, okay, I think that we should do now some management actually in our zoo. Uh, because... What I wanted to do is actually raise the prices of the toilet uh, to 50 uh, cents. So we uh, earn a bit on every, you know, guest using the toilet. And then maybe we'll also raise the prices here a bit. Okay, to 14. Uh, and here maybe to 9.50 so we'll be able to you know earn more from those shops and also here uh, I think we'll do it 5 and maybe 6 Okay, I, ho I hope that, uh, you know, the guests won't be complaining right now. And uh, actually, what I wanted to do as well is to add a perk. Uh, the perks are really important. I haven't used them earlier while playing the franchise mode because, uh, you know, I think that weren't, they weren't available when I was playing or I just didn't pay attention to it. But I heard that it is very, uh, you know important especially to use this one at first because staff will be more resilient against being overworked and our staff is not trained right now so uh, we probably should uh, use that one uh, what i wanted to do as well to raise the education and to make our uh, animals more happy with uh, the Oh, it's snowing right now. Perfect. <laughs> uh, to make our animals, uh, you know, uh, more happy with the food, with the better quality of food, I think that we can right now, because we are earning a lot of money, as you can see, uh, we can right now actually build a, a research uh, center and, you know, uh, start doing some research on uh, our animals and I will actually hire another vet so he can do the research uh, for us okay so here here he is and let me just start doing the research uh, I will go with the bin to wrong first um, Okay, I forgot how to do it. I'm so stupid. Okay, we actually didn't have a vet. I thought we hired one. So yeah, I need probably the second one because uh, this one will be busy with the uh, with the research all the time. Okay, and I think that will be good. Also, we need a security because a uh, security person because we don't have one. And so I should probably add it right now. And yeah, uh, we need a quarantine, we need a workshop and we need vet surgery. Right now, none of our uh, animals are sick or something. If one of them will get sick, I'll probably get it. 
Uh, also, I heard that it is good to actually add the info um, like center for our guests because they can buy umbrellas uh, in in there. So, right now when it is snowing, oh, I don't think they use the umbrellas when it's snowing, but it's raining. Uh, they actually are buying those umbrellas. Okay, I will leave the prices for now just as they are. As you can see, a lot of people are going there already. And also what I wanted to add is the cash machine or the ATM. And actually make it like one dollar to for a price to withdraw the money from it. And now we'll be earning even more. I hope so. <laughs> so just some tricks, you know, uh, to earn more. So uh, that we can build more, of course. Okay, so uh, it is pretty... Okay, one more thing that I wanted to do uh, before starting to build is uh, actually uh, taking care of our binturongs because they are all grown up right now and what I thought about doing is leaving this best female that was born in our zoo uh, this one is already too old so we can rehome it uh, the male this male we will actually try to sell and we'll buy another male uh, Benturong Okay, so the binturongs, they are about like 400, 600, so it's now it's nice to know. Uh, okay, this one is nice. It's not too old, so we can buy it. Okay, so he will breed with our females. And as you can see, we have uh, those two. So I will try to sell them uh, for, let's say, 450. I hope that someone will buy buy it. Okay, why did it didn't work? Okay. So now we have an hour to sell them and we'll see what will happen. Okay, and now let me just start, let me start expanding our zoo because in this episode I want to finally start adding the new animals from the North America pack uh, because uh, since the last episode the new pack was released so I am now able to uh, actually add those animals. Okay, as you can see, we already had our uh, ostriches uh, research because I I had to research them before when I was playing this game. So I actually think that I will give them better food because the difference is just, you know, very, very small. So I will give them better food uh, and maybe then they will breed better. Uh, okay, so today I want to add, oh, there's another like offspring of the ostriches, so it's very, very good. Okay, so today I, will, I want to add an animal from the new pack, and the animal will be actually the arctic fox. Yes, arctic fox, this is what I wanted to say. Uh, so uh, I thought about arctic fox because... Uh, just beaver seems I want to have beavers in the like natural body of water and I don't want to have like a like a large lake so close to the entrance uh, the moose actually I think it needs a lot of space so building such a huge habitat needs to the entrance is quite weird uh, then we had the lions the California sea lions so 
just no, not for now. Uh, the Prairie Dogs, we just uploaded the video yesterday with the Prairie Dogs, so also uh, I don't think that it is a good idea to add them today, but the uh, Arctic Fox, I think it's perfect. It is a bit shy animal, but still I think that if we have a problems with too many guests, we will actually uh, you know, try to uh, move it somewhere on the later stage and or swap the exhibits with some other animals. So yeah, we will see. Okay, so let me do uh, the terraforming for it, uh, for the habitat, just as I did last time off the camera. And I will meet you guys in a second to build the, re the Arctic Fox habitat with you. So see you in a second. Okay, so this is more or less what I wanted to achieve. Uh, as you can see, we can actually unpause the game, uh, so it gets like uh, so it will get bright <laughs> quicker because now it, now we have the middle of the night basically. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to make it a bit further from the entrance so that the guests don't use it as their you know destined path to go through the uh, park so that they have to you know walk uh, past it like walk uh, a bit in different direction so maybe it, we won't, it won't get too crowded uh, and let's start building a path to the uh, to our exhibit or our enclosure I will use okay this one is okay so I wanted it to be a, like somewhere here, I think. Maybe I need to flatten the terrain a bit here so that the path isn't like wonky or something. Okay, so let me do it. And actually I thought about creating a habitat with a moat. So, uh, let me just show you quickly how to do the modes, if you don't know it, of, of course. So I see that it got a bit harsh, so let me just fix it, because I don't want it to be too steep. Uh, just a bit. Okay. So let's continue with our path that will go more or less like this. And now actually what I wanted to show you is that you can just raise the path a little bit over the ground and hide those curbs later with something. But then you will have no issues with the terrain and you know terraforming next to the actual path because it is always a struggle. Maybe we won't make it so large because I want to have like another viewing in here that won't be in the mode. It will be just one way glass. Uh, so yeah, let me just flatten the terrain. So it will, it will be nicer. Okay. Yeah, it's day now, so we will be able to see better. Okay, something more or less like this. I will, of course, make it look nicer in a minute, because right now it looks a bit weird. Uh, let me just also do a bit of flattening to the surface because I don't like those steps or stairs of terrain that we have right now. Let's move it out. Okay, and now let's try to uh, dig up the modes and I hope yeah it works it would be actually funny if it didn't work and I would try to show you guys a special trick and it doesn't work 
Okay, so we have our mode in here. Okay, so it a bit doesn't work in here because the puffs it puff is going down, but don't worry, we will make it work no matter what what. I think I need to do it a bit bigger. So yeah, it doesn't work right now. Yeah, no, it does. So what happened here? Okay, how big does the mode needs to be? This big? Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so let me just move it out again. What happened here? Oh, research is complete, perfect. And now let's quickly do some very, very easy modes. I will actually maybe use the Asia stone for it. Maybe this one or Okay, this one. Let's align it to the surface. Okay, I'm trying to make it very, very quick so that this episode isn't too long. Uh, but we'll see how it will go. Maybe I won't show you building this whole habitat or building, you know, repeating things. Uh, the shelter for this habitat we actually have already because I decided to use the shelter that I created in my beaver habitats for the Elm Hill City Zoo. Uh, some of you uh, like uh, commented down after under this uh, this video that you really like this shelter so I figure out why not use it uh, so yeah we will probably use it here okay actually this should be like the height is probably enough for the foxes. Okay, as you can see, it is a bit wonky, but still better than having this, you know, ugly. Okay, so we'll leave it right there, like this. Okay, so let's copy it one more, once more. Maybe I will do this so, you know, it doesn't look so repetitive. Okay, it's a bit better right now. Let's add some fence for the gas. I will use something. Maybe actually uh, I will raise it a bit. So the guests are, have already this stone barrier. Oh great, this is a pro probably about the staff room, but they will need to handle <laughs> for now. Okay, so let me just add a simple uh, fence. I think we'll add this metal one. Now oh, I have this one. Okay, so fences. And maybe, oh, maybe actually I'll add this one.
I haven't checked if this is the right height, so let me grab some guests to check. Yeah, it's quite good. I hope that, you know, the uh, food for the fo foxes is, isn't like too expensive uh, because gen in general food for carnivores is a bit expensive. Uh, that's why you shouldn't probably, you know, add them at the very beginning, but let's just hope that we'll handle. <laughs> I hope with that. I'm sure that we will, so it won't be a problem. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, I I love building when there is snow. <laughs> That's why I play in sandbox. No, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, this is basically harder because you cannot see anything, but we will manage for sure. Maybe actually we should do it further. Like this. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And now I think I also wanted to add, uh, oh, there's a puff somewhere here, okay. Uh, like a one way glass panel of course it's on the other sides so here we'll have for example a shelter or something and the guests will be able to see still see our little lovely foxes okay and now let's build A barrier for this habitat. I think I want to use some of the fake rocks or maybe just regular rocks uh, from the taiga biome. We need to make sure that the foxes won't be able to escape so we need to, you know, use them in all of those places when they potentially could. Okay, let's do it. Some... F maybe like this. Yeah. And then I think I will do like a back with the wooden lock um, barrier. Okay, does look nice. Or maybe actually we'll add, you know, trees in there so I will use this barrier and it will look more natural. Of course, I will change the color. Okay, it is getting dark again. So we need to add some rocks also in here. Yeah, 
And then I will make sure that our shelter can be put somewhere in here. I didn't check how much it will cost me to, uh, to edit. I hope not too much. Uh, so let's check in my blueprints. Where is it? You can see my blueprints right now. Uh, oh, it's here. So, yeah. It will fit in there perfectly. Maybe I will do it some somehow like this. Okay, perfect. So we have a shelter. It was 5,000, so I can manage that, I think. Okay, let me just quickly do some terraforming around it. Let's do something with this thing here. Okay. Let me again uh, add something in here. Some additional rocks. And then maybe here I will add this barrier that I wanted. Okay, now I need to connect everything with the null barrier. Yeah, it's done. Let me add a gate maybe in here. Uh, okay, we have the flatten terrain option turned on. Okay, so I need to get rid of this thing. Still. Okay, actually maybe let's first do the terrain work and then at the path at the gate and it should be all fine oh that research again is complete so perfect okay let's add the wooden one let's add the path yeah so we have a shelter we have like a very like big i think habitat for them what I would do, I would add something uh, in here, uh, maybe like uh, mud pieces, so it looks nicer, like a real mold. Okay, we want to make it lower probably. Let's change the color. I should probably make it a bit higher to hide those ugly things. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I like it actually. Maybe I'll like change it in a later stage, but 
right now and I don't want to like make this too long so I'll also change the terrain to rock in here so it looks nicer and then okay we have an awards whoa education ratings perfect so this is our research okay everything is fine yeah everything is fine so now let's see how are so the binturongs are not sold it's weird because the prices are higher in here but that, no one wants my binturongs uh, so okay let's check how are the prices for the uh, arctic fox i hope they are not like crazy because you know it is a new animal added okay some of them are crazy okay so oh, here is one with a good genes and only from 210 and here is okay but it's a male and i didn't even check probably that two males cannot be together uh they can okay that's a surprise <laughs> so we could adopt it if it's still there uh are you here still hello oh yeah it's here perfect uh so we have two males and probably maybe let's find two females that are not so crazily okay this is for 1000 but no, it's not too good uh this is this one okay this one is better we can have it so we have three right now invalid destiny ah okay i know i didn't add the barrier around the shelter so let me quickly do it okay and now it should be all fine so yeah we'll have our foxes this is actually very 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 exciting maybe actually what i can do is add the water to the mold and i think it will look better it is of course obstructed i don't know why okay because probably let me just check if i can make it the terrain here a bit higher but probably it won't work i think yeah it won't work because of the puff so no no water in here uh, okay, so uh, let me just check if we have another female and then I will start to make this habitat nicer for them. Oh, they are actually so tiny and our habitat is so huge. Okay, so yeah, they are tiny. So maybe I'll make it a bit smaller. Uh, okay, let me just find another female and if I will find a decent one, I will... Yeah, there is a black one. Perfect, because I saw that the black ones are even more expensive in the work in the uh, trading center. So, yeah, we are lucky tonight. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, they are so small. Uh, maybe... As I told you, I will make this enclosure actually because, yeah, it is just so huge. Uh, it is good to have like a big one, but, you know, in this game, you actually pay also the taxes for the, you know, how big your enclosures are. So maybe probably we should do it like this. And it is absolutely fine, I think. Yeah, how about now? Yeah, it is still perfect. Are they ab able to use the... Yes, they are. This is just perfect. Okay, so I need to get rid of the grass for sure inside of this shelter because it looks so weird
Okay, and now let me see what they like. They don't like the long grass and they like rock and they like soil. So let me give them that. And they have a lot of long grass in this enclosure actually. I'll also add rock because I like this texture a lot. Okay, more soil. It is already looking better. And I still haven't added any plants or anything, so... I think that we'll be able to make this enclosure look really nice. But I can see that we already are a bit, you know... That this video will be a long one. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, so he doesn't like it, but... I don't care because it's... Okay, I can do it. Yeah, so uh, it likes the plants for Asia, North America and Europe. And it's taiga and tundra. So let me just start adding those plants. Okay, so I actually quickly uh, like changed uh, the mud pieces into stones because I didn't like how it was looking and right now I think it is much it looks so much better. It is just you know quick fix, but the mud pieces were not my thing. So uh, yeah, let's start adding plants to this habitat. As I just told you guys a second ago, uh, so. Uh, I will do it on pause actually uh, because I don't want the guests to be looking at the animals that are not happy. Uh, we can add it right now. It's just like this. I didn't know it actually uh, to add, you know, the uh, uh, to add the filters by clicking those uh, things in here and the information about the animal. It is so cool because thanks to this we uh, can save so much time. Uh, I will actually turn off the blueprints as well. And let me see what I can add in here. So, for, for sure we want the tree, fallen tree, because they always look good in enclosures. So i will take like two of them, for example. Okay. Uh, I will actually maybe add some stones because I like to position the plants around the stones. So let me just quickly do it. Yeah. So yeah, this is our first video with the new pack. As you could see, we already uploaded two speed boats into my channel uh, with the pack, but this is our first franchise. We are adding the first animal. And as I told you guys, our uh, zoo is just perfect for uh, the animals that were introduced to uh, with this pack. Maybe, for example, alligator will be uh, harder to add, but still I think we can do it. Uh, harder because, you know, it just isn't like a typical uh, foresty, uh, taiga kind of animal. Uh, but I think that we'll add it here as well because I really want it. I really want it. I really want it here. Uh, so I will I actually think that I will do it. Uh, so yeah, it's, we have our animals that are coming one by one. I don't think that we'll add only the animals from the pack, but we will sometimes take a break from it because we have eight of them uh, and add something from other packs and something for from you know uh, the base game. Uh, so yeah, just to let you know uh, the pl what are the plans for the series. Uh, right now we have uh, the packs, so we are adding the foxes, which are really, really adorable. I love them so much. Yeah, I, and I am really, really happy about the color variants that they have in the game. 
adding that was just you know a wish come true of course they're not changing colors according to the weather or something because this thing like mechanic would be uh i think that's very hard to do uh but still it is so cool that they have those you know different variants and you can find them in black like this uh summer coloration or you can find them mostly like in their typical winter uh, white color so you mostly get those white colors in the trade center and so on and when you get the black it is as i saw very expensive so uh, i was actually lucky that i could get the black and i think that it will be good for our zoo because if it breeds and has more of those black uh, kids will be able to sell them for more conservation credits so for me it is just perfect uh, so as you can see i'm trying to add a lot of different uh, rocks i will actually add also those smaller ones uh, from aquatic pack in a second but maybe let's now add some trees to this habitat uh, okay, this one is quite nice, so maybe we'll add this one. Of course, the pines, because this is my probably the favorite, like taiga and tundra and a uh, temperate plant, because they look so, so cool. Okay, so let me just add some of them. I like this one as well. Okay. And some bushes to make things looks look better yeah as you can see i am always building like from the guest perspective so we can see the view for the habitat and how it would look like from the path basically so i'm trying to do it that way okay aren't we have like too much already uh no we are still good so i can add some more maybe some more pines or trees or oh i really like this plant as well so let's add it somewhere maybe this variant Okay, it's looking nice. And the smaller one in here. And maybe one of them, this bigger one, I will put it somewhere in here. Now it's a bit too big. So let me find another tree that will look good in here. So th those are all the trees that I can put, okay. Oh, I also like this bush. So let's add it here. I always add a lot of those diamond bushes in my speed builds. I don't know if you noticed, but I love them. And yeah, <laughs> always a lot of them in my in my uh, all of my zoos. And then closures and so on. So yeah, let's just now uh, reset all the filters and add the rocks. Of course, I will need to change a color uh, into something more suiting. Okay, I think it's better. So let's add those rocks, of course, in different places. So those rocks always help like to bring everything together. Everything looks nicer when we have them. This is like a very uh, like 
relaxing thing for me, like like maybe not relaxing, but it is so easy to build in a franchise mode, to be honest. Uh, in the sandbox, I just make sure that all of the you know, small things and rocks are positioned just in the way that I want them, just so they look good from all the perspectives. So it all takes so long. I need to think about every stone, every you know plant. And here I just you know add things and f hope it will look good <laughs> without you know being too crazy and or too uh like careful about it uh, okay so let me add some more plants now that we have those rocks to make it basically look nicer maybe a sampling now it looks weird. You see, <laughs> I already like start to think and how it will look, uh, if it's looking nice or not. Okay, I like those bushes, so maybe I will add more of them. And yeah, we still need something in here because it is so plain. Uh, so maybe I will add this one and a bit of bushes in here to hide those ugly things. Okay, we are nearly done when it comes to the coverage of the plants. Maybe I will also put somewhere in the back because it looks a bit uh, like weird. Festive tree, no. Uh, of course, I will put, you know, a lot of trees uh, there behind the fence, but still we have some more space in here. No, I don't like this tree actually. But this one, yeah, this could work. This is looking nice. Okay, I think that we are done, more or less. Maybe I'll also put like an additional rock somewhere in here to a bit hide the fence. Okay, it's looking nice. Uh, some smaller ones next to it. And let me add some enrichment for our lovely foxes. So what do we have? We have the habitats and then let's find an arctic fox in here. And we can add some enrichment things. So it can use the bamboo feeder and it can use the Skittle Feeder, which is the new enrichment item. So I want to add it, of course. Uh, this box is nice. Let's put it in here and maybe this Curio Ball, I think it is called. So let's add it here. And how we are with the enrichment right now. Uh, I need to unpause 100%. Yeah, perfect. So, our foxes should be happy right now. The nutrition, habitats, yeah, cleanless. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we can play the game. <laughs> and we have our foxes. Let me just look at it for a second, because I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's our, my first time actually to see it in the game right now. And yeah, they are adorable, simply adorable. The fur looks so, so, so cool. Yeah, look at their faces. Yeah, I'm so happy that they were added. The tickets are underpriced, perfect. So we can make it, for example, seven and five for now. And we'll see. Okay, how are we with the money? We are making money. Let me add some donation boxes before the guests will arrive in here. 
Let me add some branches. Branches, not branches. I always say branches as I told you last time. Okay. So now we have this black one. I need to see it. Yeah, hello. Please breed for us, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, it is so cool. Okay, we have a visiting player, so let's say hello uh, to him. And maybe, actually, now I will pause the game and I will make it all look nicer around and I will go back to you guys to, to show you like the finished project and, uh, you know, to see how our zoo is doing. We have a lot of people right now. We have around 500 people, so it is very, very good. Uh, so yeah, let me just pause it, make it look a bit more nicer, add a lot of trees around, and I will uh, go back to you to show you the finished product. Okay, so I am back. Uh, this is pretty much the finished enclosure. I actually forgot to add the uh, something, you know, to add the food for it, not exactly the enrichment, but the food tray. Uh, so let me just add one uh, or two, maybe one in here and also a water pipe because it needs to drink. Uh, yeah, and let me just check how much they it is like uh, what is the food cost, like the price of the food. So yeah, it is actually quite low. So it's good. Like I was afraid that it will be very high for an animal like this. Let me just unpause the game so we earn. Uh, so yeah, we have some issues. Actually, our uh, Binturong is stressed because look at the people. So yeah, this is something that I was afraid about. And what we can do right now uh, is actually maybe add those... Um, uh, those, you know, uh, signs for people to be quiet around here. And maybe it will work. We will see. I hope so. <laughs> and the tickets are still underpriced, so this is a really nice message to get. Okay, maybe it worked. Yeah, it is going back. Yeah, perfect. So I think that it worked, but it is probably like a very quick solution and we'll have to do something about it quickly. So we'll probably move the binturong somewhere when the uh, as the zoo is you know developing and growing but right now okay of course i forgot also about the education boards so let me just quickly add them probably we don't have like electricity in here Let's move this one actually a bit closer to here. Yeah, no power. Perfect. So, what can we do? What can we do, guys? Maybe let's add the... Transformer. right here and maybe in the future i will actually change it to uh you know uh something that is more e eco-friendly <laughs> but for now we we'll let's have the transformer in here uh also what i wanted to add are the trash bins 
we probably need them. Uh, so it's here and maybe let's actually add the bins that are for recycling because you get those conservation credits for them. So yeah, uh, what I was also wanted to do is actually maybe train our staff, the keeper for sure, because it, he has the high workload. We can also train the security guards and maybe actually let's, uh, let me uh, hire two more vendors or one more. And let me train like maybe two of them for now. So, oh, our ostriches have matured. So this is a very good message. Uh, I need to send it to the trade center. So actually we have more albinos and those albinos are not going from coming from the white uh, or albino mother so the, our other albino our other ostrich needs to have like albino genes so this is actually a really, really good uh you know message or <laughs> because uh we will be able to sell them for more if we have more albinos uh so let me just try and sell those ostriches the binturongs are unfortunately still there no one wants them uh, I will try to trade the ostriches for like 200 maybe. Uh, this one 250. And of course I didn't confirm the trades. Okay, and we will see how it will be, if we'll be able to sell them, basically. We have more than 100,000 100, uh, dollars. So yeah, we are doing quite a good job. Uh, let me just say it. This is our uh, fox, Arctic fox enclosure. This is our lovely guy here. Uh, so as you can see, we did a pretty good job today. Maybe actually we have a bit too much of those plants because it looks like crazy a bit. So let me just delete some of them. Maybe it will look better. Yeah, I think it looks better right now. Okay. So yeah, this was our third episode of the Most Valley Park. I would like to remind you guys about the blueprints that you can send me so I can use them in this zoo because I am super open to using your blueprints. Uh, I just want them to be in this like cabin uh, forest style that we are going on for in here. So if you have them, definitely send me a link or just call the blueprint with Caesar Creates or with the name of the zoo, so the Moss Valley Zoo. And yeah, this is all that I have for you today. Uh, as you can see, we added our lovely foxes. Let's actually see one of them. It is running in here. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please consider to subscribe if you like this video. I know that it was a longer one, but uh, I hope that you've seen it and you liked it. Uh, so yeah, definitely consider to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more franchise uh, zoo uh, videos in the future. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, comment down below if you also enjoyed it or if you have any suggestions or tips for my franchise mode zoo. Uh, they are all very welcome. Give this video a big thumbs up down below uh, also and uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time uh, I Mm, upload a new video so thank you guys for watching have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye guys